Hello everyone and I welcome you all for the video number 2 for the assembly lines. So I hope you have already fixed the structures and the components on it. So in this video we are going to build the entire agriculture greenhouse and we are going to see how it is going to work out. Let's go into the video. So now we are going to go into the assembly of the automated greenhouse. So we are going to go step by step. Just go along with me. It will be really easier in that manner. First, we're going to take this black plate, which is known as the base plate. So this is going to act as the fundamental structure for building the entire greenhouse. So we're going to take this and we're going to take the white sheet, which we have done. So make sure the input sensor is on the inside. Okay, you keep it like this and you just insert it on the other side like this. Once you're done, one side is done and make sure you have someone's, someone help for holding up the board. So you can ask your parents as I said earlier. Now we're going to go to the other one, which is the fan. Now we're going to take the side which has the fan and you're going to fix it inside. And if you notice properly, it has the same holes at the bottom like this. And you're going to require someone help now. So you're going to ask someone to hold up the base plate. And you're going to fix up the both of them together like this. While fixing it, making sure this tooth is placed properly like this. If your boards are properly placed, you can notice the fan is on the outside and the input board is there on the inside, like this. Okay, now we're going to fix the screw inside. We're going to make a lot of screws like this. We're going to need the nut and bolt and you're going to insert it with one hand. Just insert it halfway, it should look like this. So now make eight of the same nuts like this and make sure the nut is placed only a little bit inside. So this is what which is going to give strength to the structure. So once you have the nut and bolt, just place it in here like this. Then you can use your finger to hold it in. Take a screwdriver and just screw it in like this. This is going to give a little bit more strength to the structure. Just tighten it a little bit. Don't need to tighten it too much. Take the other one and place it on the bottom like this. Just use a finger and hold the nut in place and screw on the other side. Once you're done, you can notice it has given a little bit more strength. Now let's try fixing the other two sides. We're going to require the other two green plates. Just like this. Okay, no, no. Okay. So now we're going to require the other two clear plates, which looks like this. We're going to fix on one side here and the other one here. So we can do this by simply keeping the plate like this, so that it's easier for it to use. Okay, now take the other structure and make sure this clamp is properly aligned. Okay, I keep it long like this. Make sure the holes are properly placed like this. The other side is fixed like this. Once you're done, just place the screws on one side and tighten it properly. Once you're done, now place the top plate like this. Okay, so yeah, it's better to keep it like this. So now let me just show you with this is the back plate, the white plate here on the side is the back plate, as you can see here. And this one here, clear side, is the front one. Alright, so this is the left side and the right side. So make sure the Arduino is placed on the left side corner, like this, yeah. The Arduino should come to the left side hand on the top. The output board are here, the fan here, and the other fan on this side. And if you're wondering where the input board is, pick a bow, it's there inside. So just a quick recap. So the shield on Arduino is fixed on this place. The output board is fixed on this side, which is on the left side of the Agribotics robot. And here the fan is fixed on the top. And make sure the arrow is pointing towards up. That means 
the sticker should be on the top. The air should be pumping outside. On this side, there should be no stickers, meaning the air should go inside the structure. All right. And the input board is placed on inside the structure on the white board. Here, as you can see. Yep. And now the UV lamp should be also placed on the other side. Just take out these two wires out in this way. All right. So once you're done, in the next video, we're going to learn how to do the connections for this entire circuit. So I'll see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed building the automated greenhouse by now. In the next video, let us learn about the electronics connections. So I'll see you in the next video.